Hello and welcome back to the channel. Google had just released their own data analysis AI that you can use to analyze your data completely free of charge. You can be as detailed as you want regarding your data. You can just upload a file, maybe a document or an Excel file, and it is going to read it. And you can give instructions for using the Google AI. You can analyze the data completely free of charge. We can see right now we have just shown an analysis of our data. We can show the different statistical data that we've computed here. These are math statistics, English statistics from a given data. We've calculated the mean, the median, the standard deviation the mode and so on and then it has given us some data visualization where it has created some plots okay bar charts and even pie charts for clear visualization this is scattered plot it has given us you can see the wonders you can see it has given us the average score per class and then the pie chart showing the female and male ratio in the data that we've just included. This is next level and you can download this and use it in your content. It has further given us boxed graphs. You can see these are English scores. This is for science scores and so on. And then it has given us this distribution. We can see these are simple plots that you can use to actually visualize your results. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can use this to your own advantage and how you can access it and use it step by step. So to start, let's start from the beginning. How do you access this? You can access it by coming to collab.research.google.com. You can see it over here. I'll put the link also in the description of this video. So once you're here, you can click on enter and it is going to bring you over to your fresh collab boot page. So you have the option to work with existing notebooks that you have already created, or if you want, you can create a new one by just clicking on new notebook. And once you open the new notebook, this is the platform that you'll be welcomed with. Now, the first thing I usually do is to rename the project. Okay, so I can come over here and say data analysis for business. Okay, or if you want to do it for a specific product, you can go ahead and do that as well. So one thing to note is that you have to come over here to analyze files with Gemini. So you can click on this and this is going to pop up this particular panel. So this is where you're going to use the Gemini to add in the files or the document you want analyzed. So you can just navigate to wherever you have your documents. In my own case, let's say I have it here. So let's say I have this student results that incorporates different things. Let me show you. Okay, so let's say I have these different results from student ID to math score, English score, science score, gender, and then the class, okay? And then I want to analyze this piece of data with this particular AI tool. It's a test, so let's go back to the platform. Now, what I need to enter is I've imported the data right now here. You can see it down here. So I can enter any prompt that I specifically want in terms of the analysis. So for this example, let's say I'm going to enter this prompt. I have loaded a file named student results. Okay, you can see it down here. Please load it into the pandas data frame and calculate the mean, median, and standard deviation for the math score, English score, and science score. Also create a scattered plot of math score versus science score uh, colored by gender. Okay. And then a bar chart showing the average scores per class. And then I want it to show a pie chart showing the distribution of gender. So once you are okay with this, you can upload this. If you want, you can upload more than one file as well for the analysis. So let's say we are okay with this and we just click to enter and then have our data analyzed. So it's going to carry out some preliminary thinking. And then from there, it's going to show you what are the areas and the steps that it's going to take to analyze your data. So here's a set of tasks that I can execute in your notebook to help answer your questions. Okay, it's going to start by loading the data, data exploration, data analysis, and then data visualization, and then it is going to finish the task. Now, in each case, you can see the description of what it is going to calculate. And in here, it's going to calculate the mean, median, mode, and so on, as you've instructed it. Now, if this plan is okay with you, you can just go ahead and execute it. If it's not okay, you can change anything, maybe ask it to add other analysis as well. So let's say I'm okay with this. I'm going to click on execute and then say continue to this. This is going to be visualized here, okay? So this is where you're going to see the results. You can see it is connecting over here. Once it is connected, 
it will just start showcasing the results. You can see how it is connected. Okay, so you can see the results now coming in. This is task that we were given. It has read the data and then it is loading the data as it is seen here, loading data, data exploration. Okay, so this is the results. You can see the reasoning of what it is providing. So you can see the data exploration. Okay, so we can see everything. Okay, so we can now be able to see the results. This is just a table exploration of what it has read from the data. And then down here we can see it has shown us the mass score. And um, this is the student ID. And then it has analyzed the data, these the descriptive statistics. And then here we have the data analysis. And then we can see the results of what we've asked, the mean the median and then the standard deviation in each score and then the class and then the gender okay so down here we have the data visualization like we've explained and if you want these are some suggested next steps that you can use direct code with descriptive stats view recommended plots the interactive sheets generate code with class average and so on you can see some suggestions that you can use as well now in terms of visualization you can see how colorful the chart it has given us is and it came down here and gave us the pie chart for the gender distribution and then at the end it gives us a summary with some q and a findings and data analysis key findings from the results that we've just added so this is the first case if you want further details or if you want further results about this you can as well go ahead and give it some suggestions okay can you give me um other plots that i can generate on this eg boxed plots and any other one okay so you can have this suggestion as a follow-up question and just enter it and you can see it is reading it and it's giving you codes that you can actually add up to generate those plots in your results, okay? So these are histograms, these are box plots and so on. So let's say I want the end of this. If you want to generate the box plot, you can just copy this code and then you can come over here. You can see the code part and then we can paste it in here and then we can click on run. And you can see right now we've gotten these plots okay wonderfully you can see them um this is these are the different plots that we've got the box plots as well as the this is descriptive mass scores by class you can see so this is wonderfully done you can see the results you can see everything uh, clearly analyzed you can see the bar charts and so on so if you want you can go ahead depending on what kind of data you have and carry out the same analysis let me upload another one maybe one simple one that we can just easily use in this case i want to add another business product file this one and i can just ask it to give me an analysis of it okay so i have this prompt that can be detailed so you can just go ahead and enter and let's give some seconds to do the thinking and give us the procedure or the steps it is going to carry out to analyze this my data okay so the same procedure detailing everything let's say execute this plan continue connected Okay, so in each case, you can see it has given us everything that we need. It started with the plot, but then there's an error here and it just regenerates everything on its own. You can see the result. This is the kind of plot it started plotting, but then there is an error. So it started reason again, and then it gives us exactly what you are looking for. You can see the main standard deviation, all the category, the data ranking, which is regenerating again. And then this is the product page, okay? on the different products home electronics beauty electronics uh, different products okay product one product two down to product five this is just a sample and then you can see the categories total sales per category average sales okay data visualization now this is the most important where you can visualize all your results and the plots and so on and then it gives us similar summary and q a and key findings from the data we've just imported so if you want you can visualize this also you can click on this view output full screen and then you can be able to see 
the plots and you can download any one of them by just right clicking and saying save image as and this is going to save this in the png and you can have access to it once you are done uh, you can download any of the graphs and then you can come over to your downloads and be able to visualize it directly over here you can see it very easily it's been downloaded and you can copy and paste in any of your result or report writing so basically this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of the google collabs new ai data analysis tool that you can use to analyze any of your data go ahead and explore it and see how detailed and specific you can be with your data to analyze it effectively hope you find this useful thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye